We are here in After Effects, and I'd like to show you how to automatically move layers around within the timeline and have their endpoints snap to the playhead. And we are going to do so using the left and right square bracket keys. On my keyboard, they are located near the return key. So let's move the playhead over here, select my red layer, press the left square bracket key, and you can see its left edge nicely aligns itself to the playhead. I'll do the same for the green layer and the blue layer like so. So let's move the playhead just over here. No big surprises where this is going. Selecting the red layer, pressing the right square bracket key. Its right edge nicely aligns with the playhead. Let's do the same for the green and the blue layers like so. Now I'll drop the playhead just in the middle here. Working within this area is fantastic, but I also like to sometimes work over here, specifically with the layer names. So you can see, for example, if I click on the entry for square just here, which is our red layer, I can press the left or the right square bracket keys to quickly align that to the playhead. But what I particularly like about this layer name section is it's very easy to select multiple layers. If I just click, drag and release over the layer names, I can easily select them all like so, and then again, left or right square bracket keys to quickly align everything. Now let's get very specific for a second just here. We have our little time indicator just here. I'm going to click on it and type in 10, 0, 0. I'll press my tab key. So we are at 10 seconds and zero frames. I'll choose okay. We can see the playhead has jumped to that time just here. All of my layers are still selected. I will now press the left square bracket key. Down here, we have a little magnification setting. I will drag that slider all the way to the right. We are now fully zoomed in. We are looking at individual frames within our timeline. And we can see those left edges are indeed perfectly aligned to the playhead. Let's zoom back out. Let's dial in again a very specific number. I'll click on the time just here, type in 40, 0, 0, tap my tab key. So you can see we are now at 40 seconds and zero frames. Choosing OK. Everything's still selected, pressing the right square bracket key. Everything has nicely right aligned itself to the 40 second mark. So let's just zoom in nice and close just here and check everything's okay. And what's going on just here? Now, the first time I was experimenting with this, I was kind of surprised. I was actually expecting all of the layers to end just here, exactly on the playhead, which indeed is exactly at 40 seconds and zero frames. But technically guys, this is the frame for 40 seconds and zero frames. So with those layers still selected, if I press the right square bracket key, you can see they finish just here. Now, nothing's wrong here. This is just how After Effects works. I just wanted to show you this because it's certainly not what I was expecting to see the first time, and you may be having some slight issues yourself with things aligning. So for example, if I was to click away to deselect all of the layers, click on my circle layer just here, and press the left square bracket key, you can see its left edge is nicely aligned to the playhead, but again, square and triangle just here, they sort of appear to extend that one frame beyond the playhead. So again, nothing wrong, just wanted to point out, that's what's going on. So I might wrap things up just there, guys. I hope that helps with your alignment of layer items to the playhead here in the timeline inside of After Effects. Catch you later.